I just feel like every time Australia bat, it's the darkest I've ever seen. The guys are wearing four jumpers. I think I saw a guy wearing a beanie at one point. There's fingerless gloves on. England you have bats. to get chains on your tyres to come out because it was actually <laughs> snowing. You can't climb up the mountain, you know what I mean? And then England bat, and it's like, what a beautiful summer. Yeah. What a beautiful summer yeah. they're having. Yeah. Have I gone too far with that? Mm. No, it's felt that way. I mean, that's probably our Australian lens. Maybe they do yeah. have that, you know, Monty Burns sun shade. That's <laughs> really across. Maybe they've got that. Well, I think it, the ball tracking data that you may have seen on the coverage has has backed that up. That is the really interesting part about the tactical side of it is how much Australia's third seamer has been nullified. It, it's been very unusual to see mm. Scott Boland, who was easily Australia's best bowler in the World Test Championship final, yeah. how little he's been able to get out of these surfaces. Yeah, I've been very surprised at how Australia's third seamer, and to a lesser degree Cummins at times, has been nullified because they haven't been able to extract enough movement.